What's up, YouTube? It's your boy Jeremy here, back again with another fragrance video. Hope you guys are doing absolutely amazing. Hope that you're in good health, and I hope that you're smelling off the chain. Per usual, man. If this is your first time here on House of Colossus, what we do is we talk about everything men's fragrance. That's from Discoveries, that's Halls, that's Top Tens, that's Middle Eastern, that's Cheat, that's Clones, the whole shebang shawat, man. So if that's something that you are interested in, feel free to hit that subscribe button as well as the notification bell. So you'll be notified anytime that I drop absolute bangers for you guys, you know. So, hey man, come in, have a good time, have a seat get a drink, whatever it is that you want to do. Just come in and have yourself a good time as we fellowship and share a common interest with this thing called fragrance. You feel me? So today's episode, y'all, I'm not, I wanted to dive into a house that I didn't know anything about. I actually seen them on Instagram a few times. I purchased their discovery sets and this is coming from the house of Habibi, New York. Um, these discovery sets were probably like, I think I paid like $42, but I got the, this one here, which is just, I guess this the original one. And I got another one, which is this one here, which is the Oud collection. Um, considering the video y'all, I wanted to run super, super, super long. You know what I'm saying? So we just gonna go over this one today and then I'll bring you a, another video on the other one. I have wore one out of this uh, line, which was uh, white Moroccan leather. That, that's fire. If it, should, it should just be flame emojis around her right here because that, one, that one's nice. I really did enjoy that one. Longevity was good. Projection was good. It was like this really nice uh, leather fragrance with some milky qualities to it. Um, but it smelled absolutely amazing, man some bright citrus is in the opening as well but i really enjoyed that that probably would end up being a full bottle um but yeah man let's jump into it so they got a little information here on the back letting you know all the uh fragrances uh, we got spice bergamot and oris we got sahara rose woody lavender embrace as i said white moroccan leather sage and citrus oud so uh, <clears throat> those other four or five we're going to talk about those i'm not going to talk about white moroccan leather because I just basically gave you a little synopsis of what it was. So let's uh, let's look at this, y'all. So it opens up in a sleeve like this. You know, the presentation of this was actually really, really nice. There's another box, but y'all don't care about the boxes. Then it comes with this here, a little label where it tells you where to order. It's a note of thanks from Habibi, New York. I thought that was really dope. And these are all three mils, so this is actually probably about at least two, three wares, maybe four or five wares to be honest, but they come in little things like that, little vials like that, and they are labeled, which I really, really dig it. And the atomizers on these three mils are actually pretty good, y'all. So um, let's see which one we'll start off with first. I gotta buy some more tester strips. Um, we're gonna start off with this one right here. This one being let me see if I can get it to come through on camera. That being Spice Bergamot. Come on, baby. There you go. Spice Bergamot and, and Oris. That's the one we got right here. That's what we're going to rock out with right now. Let me get a tester strip. All right. So here we go. I'm going to spray it. These never been sprayed. All right. Here we go. All right, this is nice too. This would be pretty. This would be pretty good for this upcoming uh, spring and summer. So I'm definitely getting some spices. I get orange. There's some powdery nature. Maybe that's orris or or orris root. I'm. Um, I don't know if that's like bergamot or mandarin orange. That's nice though. Hold on, let me see something real quick. Okay, this is nice. It's fresh, citrusy, kind of uh, effervescent, poppy, airy. Like I said, I get like this mandarin orange vibe, like a powdery nature as well. Let me see, cause it looks like they it looks like it has a notes on here too. Okay, so cool, I did pick it up. So for spice, bergamot, orange top is cardamom oil, bergamot, uh, black pepper, 
The middle is the Egyptian citrus, which I got. Lavender, I'm guessing from France. There's dark musk, amber, patchouli, saffron, vanilla, sandalwood, and oak, an uh, oud accord in the base. This is nice as hell though, bro. Now the, um, like the vanilla and the sandalwood are starting to peek out now. That's giving a little creaminess. This is nice. This is actually really nice. I think this will be great for like the uh, upcoming spring and summer. Um, it's different. It's really different. Not different as, as a sense of like groundbreaking, but it's different. Like I, I'm, you know, my nose is maturing, so I'm smelling new stuff all the time. Oh yeah, man. So check out my Colossus hoodie, man. I'm trying to brand my channel. We're going to have more merch on the way. Got some t-shirts and stuff that's coming through as well. And um, Colossus will be will be launching as a clothing line as well sooner or later. It's going to be a young boys, basically a boys and a men's clothing line, man. Eventually we'll do something for the ladies, but trying to work out for us right now. But stay tuned for that. Um, the next one, guys, I ain't going to take up too much of your time. This next one is, uh, let me see if I can get this to come through. This is called Sahara Rose. Sahara Rose. So for me, ooh, that smells good off the Atabizer. Um, I don't have too many rose fragrances in my collection, so I'm hoping this will be a banger to uh, kind of give some diversity to my, my collection. I believe I have maybe probably about five or six with uh, Machino Toy Boy being my, my favorite. But let's jump into this. This is Sahara Rose, y'all. Ooh, Atomizer, come on. Okay. So you get that rose right off the brick. It's a sweet rose, kind of has like this, kind of has like a perfumey vibe to it. Maybe some other fruits in there. I kind of get like this, like a tart, kind of plum type of vibe. But that's really all I'm picking up right now is like plum, rose, maybe different types of roses that maybe is kind of creating a plummy type of a chord. Let's see what the notes in this is right here. So for uh, Sahara Rose, oh, okay, so it's nectarine, lemon, mandarin, apple, maybe that's raspberry that I'm picking up, fresh pineapple and leaves. That's the top. Middle is jasmine, Bulgarian rose, Moroccan rose, geranium. Okay, so that's where all that rose is coming from. Does have a muskiness to it as well. The base is, uh, okay, the base is the same as the other one, Sage and Oud. Dark Musk, Amber, Patchouli, Saffron, Vanilla, Sandalwood, and Oud Accord. <laughs> I be having, y'all know I have problems. I, you know, I can't talk sometimes. I just have beat. Y'all gonna have to work out with your boy. I got Tourette's. I'm just playing, so no disrespect. But this is, this is nice. This is different. This, I believe, is kind of like more elegant, you know, formal type of vibe. I don't know. I feel like sometimes with rose, that's just kind of what it is. It's just more like a formal type of thing. You feel me? But this is nice. Not something that, you know, I will wear every day. But uh, nonetheless, like I said, I'm picking up on the rose. Like I said, for me, I thought it was like plum, but it's more. It's probably that raspberry that I'm picking up. So I'm getting rose, raspberry. There's a little sandalwood, you know, sandalwood creaminess accord to it as well. But nonetheless, this is pretty, this is pretty good. Next one I got for y'all, man, is Woody Lavender. Woody Lavender. So I'm I'm expecting this to kind of be like a gentlemanly type of fragrance, to be honest. But we'll we'll see what that is. We'll see what we got. Yep. Yep. This is a blast of lavender. This is very mass appealing. I don't I don't see too many people not liking this. This is nice though. So I'm definitely getting lavender, some citruses. It does have a woody accord to it as well. But I mostly pick up lavender, some citruses, maybe some musk in here. Let's see what we got. This is this is nice. This is actually really nice. So woody lavender, bergamot, green pear, black currant, lemon, grapefruit, apple in the top. Middle is uh, spices accord, cardamom, clove, ginger. Nutmeg, lavender, clary sage, coffee, honey, tobacco. I don't get no tobacco. I do get like a sweet accord though, but 
Maybe it's like a dry tobacco or something, but hmm. And then the base is sandalwood, cedarwood, smoky woods, patchouli, oudicor, amber musk, cypriol. That cypriol is probably giving it like that mass appealing for uh, facet because that's almost the same as like uh, as in broxen, I believe. Damn, this is nice though. I can't even cap, bro. There's also a suede accord, vetiver, and candy sugar. So, all in all, I'm getting this woody, <laughs> woody lavender. I'm getting more lavender. I get like, like I said, a fruity accord. Maybe that's a green pear that I'm picking up. But that's really what I get. I get green pear, a really nice dose of lavender and woods. But I really like the way that this smells, though, man. This is actually really nice. That's nice. That one was uh, Woody Lavender, y'all. Let's keep it going, because we have, what, about 11 minutes right now. Uh, next one I got for y'all is Embrace. 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 All right, so Embrace, I'm just going to read off the notes. So I'm expecting this to be a blue fragrance type of vibe. So, okay, so embraces bergamot, lemon, grapefruit, mandarin, currant, basil. Middle is black pepper, herbal, jasmine, rose, ylang-ylang, orange blossom, green stems, and fresh spicy. Base is oog, accor, patchouli, sandalwood, amber, vetiver, vanilla, and leather, and musk. Let's let's check it out on, on what's the name on paper. Let's check it out. You feel me? This one, guys, is uh, embrace, embrace. Mm. This this one embrace is kind of giving me. It's kind of giving me. Um, it reminds me of something. It reminds me of like a more. How can I put the mic? Like a more higher end version of Banana Republic's Vintage Green. This is a green fragrance. Probably not as green as Banana Republic, but it has some like they could be in the same family type of vibe. And I like Banana Republic Vintage Green. You definitely get some greenness. There's this fresh. There's this like airy, effervescent type of vibe to it. Definitely woody. Does have a like I'm picking up if there is oud in here. I'm picking up on it a little bit. It's like a medicinal type of oud though. This is this is different. This is nice. Like I said, fresh, spicy, green, woody, oud type of vibe. That's what I'm getting. And it kind of reminds me of Vintage Green from Banana Republic. But that's nice nonetheless. As I said, we're going to skip over white, white Moroccan leather. Um, I think that one, I think that one's A1. So we're going to go to the last one, which is Sage, Citrus, and Oud. Uh, ran out of test strips, so I'm going to spray this one on skin. So Sage, Citrus, and Oud. This one has a uh, Moroccan lemon, orange oil, cumin seed oil, lavender, geranium, sage, black pepper oil, Madagascar opor. opor? I'm, I'm not sure what that is. Um, the base is patchouli oil, Indonesian opor, vetiver oil, Indonesian opor, cedar opor, Virginia oil. Damn, that's a lot of stuff in here, bro. <laughs> but let, let's, uh, let's spray this on skin. This probably, I don't know, we'll see, because I, I'll, we'll see. So I'm going to spray it on skin. Yeah. Ugh, oh, I, ain't, I ain't messing with this one. This one, uh, nah, this, this might not be it for me. You definitely get like this herbaceous vibe. There's some type of fruits in the, in the top. Maybe I'm getting like, I kind of get like a lemony pledge type of vibe. Like a lemony pledge with some green, greenness. It's definitely kind of like, has like a petro type of vibe. I don't know if there's different type of oils or something, but maybe I need to let this dry down somewhere, but right now I'm not really feeling this one. This one's all right. I'm not gonna say it's trash, like it ain't the worst thing I'll smell, but it, it, I'm not rocking with that right now. Um, let's go back over. So then we're gonna go with the first one, which was uh, just to kind of, it probably dry down a little bit. 
the spice bergamot and um ores. Same thing, it's still pretty linear. I like that one though. Next one is Sahara Rose. Okay, for Sahara Rose, that rose is kind of toned down now. Now I'm getting like this creamy, woody nature. And the rose is in the background. It was prominent at first, but not anymore. I like that one. I like that a lot. Next one is Woody Lavender. Woody Lavender. That lavender is toned down now. I'm getting woods. I'm getting like white florals. This is nice too though. This 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 might be my favorite after uh, Moroccan leather. The next one is Embrace. Hmm. Embrace has changed a lot. I was saying that it was more so like um, Banana Republic Vintage Green. That's more so in the opening. Now it's becoming more of a blue fragrance. Now it has like more, it's green, but it's kind of like has an aquatic feel to it as well. Damn, this might be, this might be my second favorite. Yeah. All right, so if I had to rank these in order, man, just off initial impressions, bro, I would go Moroccan, a white Moroccan leather, number one. Um, Embrace number two, Woody Lavender, Spice Ores, Spice Bergamot Ores, Sahara Rose, and then Sage Citrus and Ooh will be last. Um, nonetheless, man, I think this is a this is a really nice experience from the house of Habibi, New York. Again, check them out, man, on Instagram. They got some some wonderful stuff going on over there. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not that last one. I'm not feeling, but. Nonetheless, guys, my name is Jeremy. I don't want this to run too long. You're tuned into the House of Colossus. Until we meet again, much love to you all. Don't forget to tell a friend, to tell a friend, to tell a friend about my videos. Until we meet again, y'all. Peace.